Good morning, everyone. Um, just wanted to do a quick check-in video. Uh, my 20th anniversary was yesterday, and not everything went exactly as expected, but that's okay. Um, I'm really trying to take bumps as opportunities. I don't think I was completely successful all day long. Um, but, you know, it's me against me. And um, it was also a balance of knowing my limits and my boundaries and trying to also not exceed and push them just to do something. Um, my husband was uh, cooking off a pig and he was having some difficulties and issues and I was really trying to not let his energy affect my energy. And most of the time I was okay, but I don't think I paused frequently enough that I should have. And then we got to a point later in the afternoon where um, we were going to have uh, sushi and tempura and stuff like that for me. Um, and I, he was just busy with what he needed to do and couldn't help me and I had done dishes and dishes and dishes and um, there was just I had nothing left to give to like wrap my own sushi or anything like that and I was just like it's okay I can have rice and um, tempura because he did cook that off for me and then even like our asparagus was slimy and so I was really looking forward to that and I've never seen asparagus get slimy when it's cooked like that and I was just like yeah we're not eating that um so it wasn't like there kept being these hits um and I just I, I realized like I'm hitting a limit I really can't stop to pause like I want to um, because we were so close to like, you know, everything being done and whatnot. And there's just times you can't pause. And so you still have to sh choose how graceful or not you want to be in a particularly not so hot moment. And I knew I could push and, and part of me wanted to push and be like, I'm, I'm still going to do this and everything. My oldest daughter was looking forward to the sushi and everything. And then there's this other part of me that just knew I was done. Um, I haven't been to the chiropractor. We missed one visit because of car seats. And then we missed the other because there was a bad storm in the whole town that the chiropractor's at lost power. There was like, it's like a small tornado or something. And, um, and so my back is definitely feeling it. And after doing dishes and things like that and trying to make sure the sink was really clean from all this pig processing and everything, I just didn't have any more to give. And I'm happy with myself for recognizing that because I know if I hadn't stopped, I would have, my mood would have gotten even more and more off. Um, and I know that I would have been less and less the best me and mom and wife and I still had moments where I was just like I was tired and done and my husband's tired and done and um, you know it, and it's hard too because I was still processing it's my 20th anniversary and I love eating at home and everything but I can't enjoy the pig I really wanted to go out to dinner for my 20th anniversary and so I was still dealing with some of those emotions too and um, really trying to be happy but to also let those feelings be heard in me and within me and um, and so it was a hard, harder-ish evening, afternoon, evening. And I really made the intention this morning because 
when my husband is home and my brother-in-law is home um, from work, they work at the same place, and when they're home, um, sometimes I don't get my morning to myself like I want to. I don't get to visualize my affirmations and things like that. And I've recognized that. And I know that's a difference from this past weekend to now. And so I made a point this morning of I'm going to recenter how I need to. I'm not getting up out of my bed until... I've done all of that visualization, affirmations, centering myself back to where I want to be because I know last night was rough and I was processing lots of feelings and emotions and I'm proud of myself for doing that, but now it's time to move on. I'm not going to sit here and dwell on them anymore because I feel like they've been voiced, they've been heard, they've been felt and... I'm now to the point where I'm ready to move on and I'm ready to start this new day um, and be appreciative of this new day. And so um, I really just spent, I don't even know how long because I didn't look at my phone or anything like that to check the time. I just, just laid there and went through all of my affirmations and visualizing them and playing like, you know, this is what it's going to be. This is how it's going to play out. And that was all of that helped to really bring me back to center. And um, like I know and I can tell like I probably need to meditate again and things like that. And so I'm really hoping I can possibly make time to do that today. And if not, um, you know, hopefully tomorrow. Um, but it's a rough balance being a mom going through this and recognizing what you need and having the demands of little people. I think it's doable. And there's a reason that, you know, and I've talked about this before, there's a reason why I chose to awaken when I did and, you know, to be going through all of this. And now this, with the illness, this deeper understanding um, but I wouldn't change anything and I used to want to change it. Like I used to want, oh, I should have woke up when I was 20 and, you know, but it wouldn't, it just wouldn't have been what it needed to be. Um, and so I really had the intention today of trying to make sure my social media is, um, more jiving with where I am at now, my thought process, and I followed some new people that are more, you know, what I'm looking for, and I'll probably be taking things out of my feed that just aren't resonating with me anymore. I don't, I just don't need it. Um, and so those were all good things. I also talked to my home birth midwife yesterday, and that went really well, and it was so nice to just catch up and kind of like re summarize my journey to her and where I'm at and you know when I started this with her at the beginning of this pregnancy I really said I want this red tent type experience um, and my original plans for my home birth were to have the midwife and to have my doula and to have the doula I had for my son as well um, who I consider very good friends and I just wanted these women around me and surrounding me and maybe another friend or two um, and I just really wanted this experience that I felt like I hadn't had up until now and I'm also in a state now of surrender where I I'm okay with how it is but I'm still envisioning the birth experience I want. I was talking to my oldest today about, you know, I think she's just going to come real quick and I feel like it. And she's like, well, you remember what my son was like. And I'm like, oh yeah, I don't, I can't forget about that. And he, he was a very long labor and uh, a little bit more difficult delivery. He came out with his arm behind his head and the cord wrapped around his neck and arm. Um, 
so <laughs> it was uh, painful and everything. But I don't see that and feel that. I had a lot of anxiety and I was very scared with him. And I know that built up and coupled into that experience. And I'm not allowing that in my thought process now. And I just keep seeing this as I told the midwife, I'm like, I am, um, I, what I'm envisioning is you, you know, I call you and say, things are kind of moving along. And I call the doula and tell her, and the doula's two-ish hours away and the midwife's one hour-ish and, you know, you're walking in the door and I'm dropping this baby out and the doula comes and, you know, we're just doing after taking care of mom stuff, you know, it, it, I want it to be quick and effortless and just easy and, uh, and I know I deserve that. And so I'm going to keep envisioning that, um, and my um my fundly hasn't moved in probably a week and i'm okay with that still because i know i know everything's gonna work out and i don't i don't even know where that comes from it's just this deep knowingness that it is going to work out and i love that and i'm just trusting that and there's the ego part of me that wants to be like oh no blah 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 and i'm like no, um, you know, there has to be at some point a certain level of trust. And I, at this point, I'm just trusting the universe that it will work out. So um, I think it's hard. And I think anybody that's telling you that making changes in how you're thinking and feeling, it's it's not easy. Um there, I think there's always work to be done. We're human and it, but it gets easier the more we do it and practice it. And so I could feel myself getting off course yesterday a little bit. And I tried as much to bring myself back to center, but I also feel this need to balance making sure I'm feeling those emotions and processing them too, because I don't want to just subdue them, capture them, and have them underneath the surface. So I think that's a fine line balance that I'm still trying to figure out. And I think that balance is probably different for everybody. Um, but I think I'm getting there. And, and I'm recognizing, you know, I knew that this morning I just needed that time for me. And that meant I didn't get to see my husband much more than a quick kiss and out the door because um, he had something he needed to do today. Um, but I, I'm okay with that because I, if I'm not taking care of me and center and grounding me, finding that baseline, getting that perspective where I want to be, then I'm not serving anybody else in this household very well. Um, and it will be a struggle all day long. And so that's really important to me that to take care of me as well. So um, wherever you're at on your journey, if you're excelling, tell us how you're excelling in the comments. I'd love to hear if you're struggling a bit too, especially if you're a mom or a dad, and it's a hard balance because you're trying to inspire and teach these this next generation and sometimes they're teaching us so much too and you're processing that uh, leave comments and if you're just super struggling right now and you're like I'm in deep and I, I'm under the waves and I don't see a way out comment and hopefully we can at least sit here with you and give you support so I hope you have a great day and I hope to see everyone again soon.